Hello everyone, my name is Jason from Scope Training. Today I'm just continuing on the steps required for a successful change management process. Step five, address the barriers and empower people for action. Look, you've invested a huge amount of money, time and resources on the organizational change processes and the vision has been communicated for months from senior management. Everybody had been trained up in the new way and we should start to see the benefits already. Correct? Hmm. Despite all this effort, people are still stuck in doing things the old way. Why? Well, we're going to look at some facts. Fact number one, people will resist changes. Fact number two, people resist changes because they believe the change will make their lives worse. And fact number three, is that organizations don't change just because there are new systems and processes in place. People change because the organization uh, and themselves, they've gone through their individual change journey. They've been transformed and now they embrace the changes. All right, so organizations don't change, people do. Now, let me just have a look at, um, in this step here, we're addressing barriers. And if we understand that the process that people go through when they encounter change, it will make our lives as change managers or change champion a lot easier. Klaus Janssen, he's a renowned uh, Swedish psychologist. His Four Rooms of Change model says that all of us go through four psychological states when we encounter change. The first one is contentment. It's what he referred to as the stability phase. We're happy with the existing environment. And there's no need to change. We're comfortable. Uh, everything is rosy. And then change is introduced. What happened? There's a denial or the stress phase. Um, our initial reaction may be shock or denial uh, as we react to the challenge of the status quo. What's happening? All these changes, I can't take it. All right, the next psychological phase is confusion. It's crisis mode. There's uncertainty and high anxiety. There's disarray and chaos. But we need to confront these barriers head on. We need to show people that we have to win the battle and we're not, we have to give up whatever it is of the old way and embrace the new way. This becomes our turning point. If we can overcome some of the fears that we have at this stage, hey, we're onto a good thing. And we're now open to possibilities of the new way. Hmm. And the last stage under this model is the renewal phase, where we break out of the old and embrace the new. We've now overcome all those fears that's held us back, and we've worked out a new approach, and we're ready to take on the challenge. That's step five, addressing barriers and empowering people for action. So we need to understand that people will resist change, and people resist change because they don't understand how it would affect them. So by using the four rooms of change, we're able to take them through and understand where people are coming from. Step six, create short-term wins, share and celebrate success. Pretty easy, right? Uh, to increase belief in the change effort, we need to reward the hard workers. People have been believing in the change effort. Uh, we need to keep those critics or naysayers at bay by having short-term wins. So focus on one or two goals uh, this will build momentum in your change process. Keep it simple, guys, and celebrate your successes and share with everyone within the organization. Uh, let me leave you with, um, in these five steps, five and six, with a, a quote from Jack Welsh, the former CEO of GE. He's a very successful and uh, a fairly recognized uh, CEO uh, in the business uh, and leadership uh, arena. And he says, Good business leaders create a vision. They are able to articulate the vision, passionately own the vision, and relentlessly drive it to completion. So remember guys, that you need to own the vision. You need to tell and communicate it well. You need to passionately own it and drive it to its completion. So all the best until the next video as we close up steps seven and eight, and I'll catch you later. Thank you.